everybody! Diecast here with the um, with the midweek podcast. We have Amortis here Hello. with us. We have um, I can never pronounce your damn name. Nerodia. Nerodia. Hello. See, I, I always say Nerdia or you know something along those lines. And uh, I'm I'm Nick. We still haven't really figured out a really good name for me because Ginger King wasn't doing it for me. So we're just you know. We're, we're, we're still brainstorming, so... Uh, I call yeah. everybody by their names. I, right? yeah, yeah, I just call everyone by their names. Yeah. Anyway. Hey, people at home, leave a comment in the description telling us what we should name him. And Frankie, don't say, like, Dirty Jew or something like that. Or Ginger Jew. <laughs> that's... that's what, <laughs> but, um... Uh, we, we, uh, you know, it's our, it's our midweek podcast and everything. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna go over a few things. Um... Uh, we're gonna talk, I guess, a little bit about Game of Thrones. Some, a couple, just one or two things. No, nah, I mean, you know, my it, we'll, it'll go to that subject because it's still all on our minds. Um, main topic discussion tonight is gonna be um, uh, uh, video adaptions of books. Should you read the books first, or should you watch the movie slash television show first? You know, what works good with what, and seeing is, you know, all of us here, we kind of all do the same thing. You know, um, you know, read the same things, watch the same things. You know, we all have like, you know, watched and read things that like, you know, like, like I know I like the Hunger Games. I've read the Hunger Games, and you guys haven't, but you watch the movies. So, mm -hmm. but um, so yeah. Well, I've I've seen I've read the personally. I like I wait until I've seen the movie completely because. And then I go back and read the book just because, you know, with the movie, that way you're seeing it for the first time. You don't have any clue what's going down. And, you know, because the book's always better than the fucking movie anyway. Well, see, like, that's, that's one reason that I like reading the book first is so like all these things that I imagined in the book I get to see come to life because I know see, that but no then you get let down not see I don't get let down because I don't keep my expectations high I don't I don't think oh well, this movie is going to be the exact replication of the book I don't I don't think that because no movie can be a replication of a book because there's just not enough yeah. room I remember you were pretty upset when they made that twilight movie and they didn't keep all the gay love scenes in it <laughs> You were so distraught. Yes, I was really one. distraught by not having... I remember being upset that they made a Twilight movie. <laughs> yes, yes, that was horrible. Like, how can they put that kind of... You know, there's nothing uh, because wrong... Because they could make money. Yes, yes. But, um... Off of angsty teenagers. Well, I mean, that... You, do you realize that, like, actually, like, if you look at studies for commercials and everything, most... Advertisements are actually centered towards teenagers. I hate teenagers. Uh, well, everyone hates teenagers. <laughs> They're pretty much useless to society except yeah. as cashiers. They're pretty awful. Um, You're all terrible. Especially nowadays. Like I thought I was a pretty cool teenager. I did stuff for charity and Oh I nerd. Did. I knew I was a well, nerd. Awful. How does that make me a nerd? Being a nerd would mean I sat around and played video games like we do now. I was awful and I was I a nightmare and I knew it even then. You knew you were a nightmare, and yet you yeah. just... That's, that's well, I didn't do it on purpose. You know, I was depressed and, you know, messed up kid. But I, I knew I was a terror, and I feel sorry about it now. <laughs> See, I was never a terror as a teenager. I mean, I was a... Uh, no, we couldn't get you to cuss till you were almost well, that's in your I was, That's because I was, like, a Christian kid. But I'm just talking about, like, as far as, like, doing bad things. And Also, it's kind of a little bit awkward to be with your friends and be like, Hey, you should cuss. Like... That's a really Well, no, they used to do that to me. That's a really dorky... Yeah, we were like, come on, say it. Hey, say fuck. That's hey, say fuck. Say that's fuck. That's a really Damn. dorky thing to even say. That you are the one that should be embarrassed about that, not <laughs> no. him. I should be embarrassed. You but should be embarrassed, The people that yes. listen to this podcast already know shame is not one of my forte. No, no, there's no shame. Um, I'm embarrassed for you. Now, one of the... Uh, uh, anyway, we're going to, yeah. Uh, and one of the, uh, and I still to this day have not done it. I uh, I watched Lord of the Rings and I have not read the book. B -b Books. Plural. Three. I have. It's been a long time. See, like, I tried reading it. Like, I was like, okay, I saw the first movie. I'm like, I'm going to read all the books before the next movie comes out. I'm like, 
This shit's hard. I, I I I like to pride myself on being a really good reader, but like it's daunting. It's daunting. Like I'm just reading it. I'm like these the words. The Hobbit is really good. Though, the Ho- so, like, I love the Hobbit. Different. I read the Hobbit before the movies ever came out, and I loved the Hobbit. It's different from the Lord of the Rings books. Yeah, but the Lord of the Rings books are just like I don't even know how to describe them. They're just they're like one of those old epic Shakespearean like poems. Yeah, it's it's difficult to just sit and read that. Um, I don't. I don't especially, like, try to read the books first, but, um, a lot of times I don't even know about the book until the show comes on TV or the movie comes out, and then I'm like, oh, See, okay. see I was a librarian at one point, so any movie that's coming out that's based on a book, it, that it, like, a book that hasn't just come out, like, I probably know about it. They'll probably come out, like, in a couple of years with a... With a movie about some book that I had read five years ago. And I'm like, hey, I read that. Yeah. And, See, I'm know. not usually super <clears throat> aware of what books are even out. And then the show comes out and I'm like, oh, that, that's a book. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll get that book. Yeah, I'm very, with my reading, I'm also very, I guess narrow, we'll call it, with... Freeman not- put a picture of a really skinny man to represent narrow. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> And do it, Freeman. I, I'm very nervous. Don't you sass us. I, I see you trying to do it. Very, but, Freeman's very sassy. Yes, he, I he, think he, he looks down on us. Like I think he really, like truly it. thinks he's better than us. Yeah. I can do things with computers. Dur, dur, dur. Freeman, put up a, a picture of a cat standing on his hind legs going, dur, dur, dur. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, anyway, he better have done that, Freeman, anyway. I, my reading is very directed towards horror, fantasy, for instance, the um, Forgotten Realm series, yeah. I've read a lot of those. Mainly, though, it's horror books, and actually this goes along with the book, um, 30 Days of Night, which was actually made after yeah. the movie came out, mm-hmm. it was a novelization of it, and I'm glad I didn't read it beforehand because once again all the stuff in the movie well, you know you kind of know what's going on I like that you know everything's fresh and new granted the book was a lot better than the movie just they had they went into more detail see that's of the thing the like vampires. you will never get as see the thing is with books most of the time people are talking in their head there's a lot of thought going mm-hmm. on and you can't like you know thought bubble yeah, in a movie really that would that be movie. awesome Hey, Spielberg, that's when, get on that. That's when I Stop usually turn to books. I'll see something that I really like on TV or a movie, and I'll want to know more, and I go to the book hoping that there's a lot more detail. Yeah. See, almost everything I read the books first. Almost everything. And the one thing I'm refusing to read the book first is on Game of Thrones. For mm-hmm. some reason, I want to be some... Pro- I don't want to be... I don't want to be one of these assholes who are really smug as shit. Yeah. I don't want to be... So, I want are to you going to read the book of that Divergent movie before you watch it? Mm, I didn't plan on watching the movie either. <laughs> oh. It wasn't really my... I think I'm going <laughs> to read ahead on Game of Thrones. And it's not because I want to be one of those snobby people. I just want to know. She wants to know so she can videotape reactions when there's a crazy well, episode. Too, yes. But also, I just want to know now. Like, I don't want to wait. See, like, for me, like, I think half of the magic of Game of Thrones would be gone if I read ahead. I really don't think I would enjoy it as much. I mean, I know I enjoy it, but I'd sort of be like, like now I'm like looking forward to Sunday night. I'm like sitting in my seat, and I'm like, oh, Game of Thrones, what's gonna happen? I think if I read the books, I'd be like, oh, well, I'll probably just catch the on demand tomorrow. Yeah, I, I've thought about that, and I think um, I'll still enjoy it, but it'll just be in a different way. See, I don't want to enjoy I, it, but in a I think it way. will still be equally yeah. as much. Just in I don't, I don't way. think it'll be equally as enjoyable for me. I'm gonna wait. I'm definitely. Because, I mean, with, uh, we're in season four right now, and um, when season four ends, that'll be the end of book three, and I'll read book three, and then I'll, ha- I'll, I'll wait. I'll, I'll find some other kind of book, and I'm going to try to draw out book three over the course of a year so I don't have a break in my nerdy Game of Thrones-ness. But, yeah. You know. But um, I know, like, one thing, like, and this just, this this actually surprised me. You know, Harry Potter, I know, I know you're not a fan. No. You're not really a fan either, are you? What are you showing me? Oh. Why, do we do not need moldy books around. Throw that away. No, Look, this is a really awesome book. I have a mold thing, and he's sticking a moldy book page in my face. That's what's happening right now. But, um, uh, Freeman, put a picture up of mold. Yeah. Please With a face. Mold! With a face. With a face. And it's making a dirt face. 
<laughs> dirt paint dirt mold for dirt the mold. win. Yes, find dirt mold. <laughs> <laughs> it um, looks like that fish from the... Yeah, the oh god. Uh, well, what is that show called? Creature... Um, um Creature... So, um, creature hey, Freeman, shop? find out. Yeah, I think like Jim Hansen's Creature Shop or something. Freeman, put up an advertisement for that Jim Hansen show on Sci-Fi. But, uh... <laughs> and show the dirt fish. Yeah, they, they had this episode where like the theme was making like this underwater st- sort of theme puppet. And these guys... They made this fish with like eight, awesome. gi- eight giant glowing eyes and just a gaping maw of a mouth that would just like <laughs> flop, giant it, smile. it would like flop around with its jaw just hang wide open and it, <laughs> like the whole time that's exactly the sound I thought it was going to be making. It, it looked really ridiculous and you know what it, it made me think of if there was a fish equivalent of Snuffleupagus. Yeah, that, that's yeah, what I saw exactly. That. <laughs> I need another hit, bird! <laughs> Everyone knows Snuffleupagus was on that crap. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> dirt! Um, herp, herp, first you herp and then you dirt. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... I'm looking for corn dogs! Corn dogs! <laughs> <laughs> How did, when did herp dirt become a thing? I don't even know. What, like, I don't know, but I'm glad it did. I like it. It's pretty funny. It, I don't know, but speaking of underwater creatures... Hey! This my squid. Don't worry, he cool. Freeman, show the people what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's a pretty funny picture. But, um, <coughs> the Harry Potter book slash movies. Like, it surprised me when I realized how many people had only watched the movies. And being someone who read the books and then watched the movies, I'm like, dude, you can't just watch the movies. Because you don't get anything out of them. But were you a teen... Weren't, you were probably a teenager when they started coming out, weren't you? What, the movies? The books. The books, yeah. Yeah. And you were reading them then? Because, see, like, I, I, I just don't get into the teen fiction. There's like, been a, I mean, a there couple are, that I've liked. Like, Warm Bodies is... I think that's teen. Yeah, that's, that's teen, teen fiction. That's teen I fiction. like that, and I like um, The Hunger Games, but... I really well, there's don't. a lot of... Like, the, like, Harry Potter wasn't really teen fiction. Because it starts out when... Like Harry's he's like a, a kid, kid. Yeah. like a kid, kid, not teenager kid. What well, he's like twelve when they start out. So I mean, like he's not exactly like, you know, um, yeah. It's not exactly teen fiction. She didn't write it for teens. It's not like in the young adult section. It's actually in the kids section. Yeah. <laughs> but um, but like, the movies were just it, they were poor ad- adaptation of the books. They were made for people who read the books and wanted to see what this certain spell looked like. That's what the whole point of those movies were. Yeah. So people who were just like, hey, the new Harry Potter movie's going to come out. I wonder what's going to happen. It's sort of like, the fuck, do you not know? Did you not read? I can't speak on Harry Potter. I have yet to see the first movie, and I don't intend to. Don't. I wouldn't. If you're going to do anything, read the books. And the books are actually pretty good. Uh, The best part of Harry Potter was Luna Lovegood anyway. Hmm. She was pretty boring, actually. She was just sort of nuts. <laughs> it was funny, though. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Dude, Did that, not reference oh, come that. Come on, dude. Everyone who's a Harry Potter fan who's listening to this probably knows exactly the phrase we're talking about. <laughs> that, uh... Who'd <laughs> love gets a racist? We'll just say that. But, um... <clears throat> so, I don't know. I mean, like, so... I'm sort of like torn of two minds of it, really. Of uh, should you read the books first or read or watch the movies first? And uh, I think it really just depends on if it's a movie. I'm gonna read the books first. If it's a television show, I like to be surprised because a movie it's like you're gonna get one of them. You know, pretty much. Oh, unless it's a series, but then you're gonna get them. Anyway. I think there's something but fun about watching a show though, where you know what's gonna happen. Yeah, see, I, I prefer. And I know oh, you're smug. turning into that, that smug book reader already. You're, me and Jonathan are, are gonna be over here, and be like, uh, you know, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. You're gonna be like, he, I already know. You're so dumb. One sec, wait, wait. No, let me set up the that. webcam. I'll just internalize. It's like, why, why are you setting up the webcam? Who's gonna die? Oh, just internalize it. I won't say any of that. And I can very discreetly record you guys with my phone. Actually, yeah, we have the Double video cameras. camera. I don't with get a video the... camera. Yeah, like, yeah, we're not going to notice her be like... <laughs> I'm always playing with my phone, so... Just I just, I just hate phone. that now, like, you're going to know more than me. Like, I'm not going to be a lore master anymore. <laughs> well, not anymore. for a while. I read pretty slowly. So. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, it might take you till next season, and then I'll be caught up with you, so... It might. Or, uh, or, you know, 
Maybe you'll just forget names. That's why I'm Lore Master, because I remember the names. Yes. I yes, remember. you are definitely the only one that can remember those fucking names. Well, it's not I, that hard. I'm bad with regular names, like... John. Like you. Like people that I know. Wait, what's my name? Your, right now. Your name is Nick. <laughs> Jenny but, Mitch. <laughs> but it takes me a while before I'll remember your name. I have to know you for a while, and you have to be important, or I'll just forget you. I'd be really sad if I had lived in this house as long, and you were like, uh, 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 uh <laughs> Nick! Oh, yeah, I, you know. Yeah. Who are you? No one important. Shut up and make my dinner. I've had people that I've spoken to for like up to a month and didn't... didn't, I didn't wow, know. really? Hey, guys! It, come, it comes to a point where, though, you're like, oh, it's not a big deal. I'll, I'll hear it. You know it. what I hate? Eventually I'll hear it, but the thing is, it gets to a point where it's too late. And it'll be awkward if you go, you know, I don't know your name. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> you know what I hate is when you know someone's name almost, but not yeah. like... Hey! Like, Bill, no, it's Will. Yeah, exactly. Or like, um, let me think of it. Like, like, or John, but they go by Johnny, or yeah. or, or just some like the little things like that. You're like, I know pretty much your name, but <laughs> you can always try the. How do you spell your name? Yeah, that only like, but it'll be it, awkward it, if they go uh, T O M. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, I thought oh, you no, had no, two M's. M's. <laughs> two M's. Well, no, I you have, gotta remove I have one a, of the M's. No, I have, Which a one? I have a buddy. What? <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> yes, uh, it's T O space M. <laughs> Ta. Mm. Mm. I mean, come on, we've seen mm. Climadia oh, and no. Ladasha. Okay, we're not talking about those. We can't even talk about those. That's just a whole new conversation meant for yeah. another podcast. Yeah, another podcast. Horrible kid names. Why they should take them from you. Yeah. Um, well, it's why that in a lot of countries they actually have laws about what you can name your child. Yeah. Um, and that's just so they don't get made fun of their whole life like most people here. Yes. Um, God, what was I going to say? I, I had a thought and I lost it. Way back, like three, four. So it was about oh. you're talking about names, not being uh, able to you remember. being the lore master. No, lore master. It was, it was it was more recent than that. I can't remember. Screw it. Whatever. Hey, this is uh, losing your train of thought. On a I know we talked about that earlier. We talked about like losing your train of thought. Like, how do talk show hosts like never lose their train of thought? Because I lose mine all. The well, time. I guess that's why we don't have like a talk show on NBC. Yeah. Though. Because if, <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, I mean, I how, how, how much time do we have? How much how are we at? Let's see. We uh, are we are we good on time? Because I'd like to talk about our craft. Yeah, we're we're oh, yeah. really good on time. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna talk about our craft. Because I guess all I really want to use this podcast for is so I can talk about Game of Thrones. The other people don't matter, really. <laughs> That's kind of what's happening. But um, so I was, tr- you know, running around online like, hey, I want some new Game of Thrones stuff. Because once a week, because he's uh, he's an addict. I am me. an addict. Like it is my crack. Like some people like like I'm hooked on the cardboard crack. He's yeah, on. he's he's hooked on like magic cards, and I'm hooked on anything Game of Thrones. Everybody has their thing. Nobody can judge. Yeah, I just feel bad because I haven't had this bad of addiction since I started cigarettes. So you know, like if you told me like, hey, we have to turn HBO off, I would probably cry. I would probably just sit in this room and cry and know that I'm not going to know what's going to happen and I'm going to see people talking about shit. <laughs> anyway, so I was looking around and everything and I, and I saw something. I saw a, um, a plaque shaped like a shield with like house names from, um, from uh, Game of Thrones on it. And I looked at it and I'm like, man, it's expensive. I really want it. Then I looked at it and I'm like, wait a second. I can make that easy. I looked at well, not easy. I could, and I couldn't have helped. And Rodia, she she's an artist, pretty much. So yeah, um, and I'm good at cutting things. Um, did that computer just shut off? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. We're not oh, okay, okay. Okay. This this but, is um, my one. So so, so I went to Nerodia and I'm like, look, uh, here's this plaque, and I think they make really good wall plaques, especially like in our uh, YouTube room, you know, where we do a lot of our recordings and everything. You guys have probably seen some of the posters and everything, and we have in here if you've watched any of the playthrough videos. But um, and I was like, I, re- I really want to. Ma- I, want- I want these plaques, and I-, I showed her the pictures of the plaques and everything. She goes, Oh, we could do that in the afternoon. And I was like, Okay. So we-, we went to the store and we got we bought wood and paint and everything. So right now it's actually drying on the floor as we speak. It is going to be a a wall plaque in the shape of a shield for House Stark, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> 
It could have been done a lot quicker, except that we had to hand cut. Yeah, we had to hand cut yeah, the we, wood. We didn't have... Well, we had a saw. Said saw did not work. So we ended up with a um, uh, sheetrock saw, a keyhole saw, um, cutting through. Yeah, a lot of <laughs> you know what, though? You know what? Like, now thinking about it and everything, um, even after all the struggle and everything, I actually am pretty happy about it. Because I felt like we have all put a piece of ourselves into this project. Yeah. The yeah, thing I, is, I have not put a finger. Into yeah, this you project. all put a finger into the project. Um, but like, the the only thing is, like, we want to make eight more of these damn things. So yeah. that's when it's gonna give me like, okay, <laughs> you know, we'll probably have to figure out something. Our first one, we put a lot of our own personal labor into, and um. Uh, a lot of our own, like, uh, sweat and tears and Hopefully almost blood. Hopefully soon, because I think we'll probably be finished with it by tomorrow sometime. Yeah, depending uh, depending, yeah, depending on that. So, uh, well, I mean, we probably won't have time for this podcast. But listen in on Sunday night, and we'll show a picture on Sunday night. It'll yeah, definitely, it'll, it'll definitely hell, be Hell, we might done. even be done with another one by Sunday night. That's I'll a good idea. Actually, that's a good idea to show it during the podcast. But, uh, yeah, because, I mean, that's the actual official Game of Thrones night. Yeah. But it's, it's going to look great. It's going to have the dire wolf head on it with winter is coming. And it's gonna be fun. I think. I think a lot of my part is kind of like almost over. I mean, I'm gonna have Nerodi sort of teach me how to do these, so it doesn't come <laughs> down to her for all the intricate artwork details. And I think you'll find it's easy. Oh well, I shouldn't say that. I need people to think it's hard because it's. It's a job. really difficult. It's extremely difficult. It's extremely difficult. Lies and slander. Well, I. I I get paid nicely for what I do. So okay, well, I you do to... computer artwork, which is really hard. I, it's very, it's very difficult, difficult and annoying and not worth your time. It's horrible, and no one should try it ever. Um, but uh, painting on a, a wooden plaque is really easy and fun. We might even do a how-to video yeah, it's eventually. Fun. Yeah. I mean, we're going to be making eight of these things. And uh, I, I, would th I think it would be kind of rude not to do sort of a how-to. Yeah, give, yeah. Them, give the people at home a little shot to make their own, which we are currently we will be making a plaque for the house die cast. Yeah, we are going to be making a house die cast um, plaque eventually. I'm not sure when. Yeah, we'll have to figure like out. Gonna... Right now we're struggling with... What to have is our sigil. I mean, I think we got a good idea as far as our sigil. You know, we all have, you know, certain... Yeah, I was thinking the, maybe the instead of the flayed man, we could have the filleted man. A guy just sitting back in a chair getting a BJ. That's um, that would look great no, hanging on the we're wall. not doing that one. <laughs> that would look great hanging this, on the wall in our home. Yeah, exactly. Our house sigil is the blowjob guy. That's our house <laughs> sigil. Let's put it on our shields and go into battle with a guy getting a blowjob. Hey, That'll remember, strike fear to our sigil. No. Oh, don't <laughs> show that, Freeman. It would certainly be a distraction in battle. It would be. It's like, is that a dude getting a blowjob? <laughs> but, uh, no, we had a good idea because we all have certain, you know, ethnic backgrounds. Uh, Amoris is, um, you know, Scots-Irish. Uh, Nerodia is Native American-ish, Japanese-ish. <laughs> yes. She's brown. She's she's I'm, a brown person. I'm brown. Don't, don't hate her for that she's okay yeah but uh I'm and i'm full scottish so we thought why don't we take something from each of our respected uh, like uh you know ethnicities and and add that to make a sigil hey freeman put up the picture the what was it maxwell clan uh, uh maxwell scottish clan sigil and then the Freeman clan sigil. Pretty basic, but I still yeah, love it. Yeah, I love my sigil. I hadn't looked at it in a while. I knew it was a stag, but it's a stag that is uh, laying down under a tree with the words, um, we bid thee fair, which I think is, you know. I think yeah. Funny. I don't know. There's, there's, there's different interpretations of what our, our words of our sigil is. But we thought, why don't we take the stag from the Maxwell family clan and then the symbols from the Freeman uh, Irish clan, and then we're I don't know, we're gonna add some like feathers or <laughs> some like some like. Do Tokyo I get two because I, I'm multiple ethnicities? Do I get no, one? you gotta pick one because <laughs> he's Scots Irish. He's only choosing his Irish. I have to pick a side. That's not people. Yeah, well, I'm also me. German, so I can't have you know a, a beer keg. We will have the most. <laughs> oh, I can't have a beer keg or a six fucked. pointed. Star. We're gonna have the most cluster. Fucked, um... Oh, wait, wait. To clarify, 
I, I realized what I just said sounded extremely It sounded extremely up. racist. The six-pointed star, my people, before they went to Ireland, they were German Jews so fleeing the fires. Yeah, so, so he speak. is he is a, a Jew, so he can make Jew jokes. Just like but I'm no, Scottish, so I can make uh Well, no, we Scotland were talking feature. about Germany and having the six-pointed star. I didn't think people th- to think I was oh, making yeah, a Nazi yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. like, no, 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 not the case. See, I'm allowed, to, I'm allowed to make sheep fucking jokes because... You fuck sheep? Well, I haven't personally fucked any sheep. A goat when I was desperate, but it was a good-looking goat, and she whispered sweet nothings in my ear. <laughs> You're bad. <laughs> You're a bad boy. It's <laughs> so lame. <laughs> It's funny! You're laughing! I'll really stop doing it when you stop laughing! Of nothing. You thought picture. you were gonna put something up. Put you up loser. a picture of nothing. Put up a picture of nothing. But yes, and let's. I, I kind of, before this one runs out, I wanted to do. I wanted to end this podcast with. We've had a lot of Game of Thrones references, and I wanted something. Game of Thrones unrelated is the last three podcasts have been... Boo! Boo! And this boo, one... Boo! I'm boo! <laughs> this one is something <laughs> funny about our home state, which I sadly have to call It is it. not sadly. This is a great state. It is. Filled with idiots. Fuck you. I love North Carolina. I love it too. It's purdy. And I- Honestly. But... What? Oh, great. Now people can, like, stalk us and find us on the internet. Yeah. Great. Look what you've done. Uh, Freeman, blurt out the name that she did, like, with a fart sound. Can, yes. you, can, can Freeman do that? Uh, I, he damn well better. A, okay. I, Freeman, I blurt ass. out our town it's name a with a fart. It's a reasonably large town. Nobody's going to find us. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, this is a crime report that happened in the lovely state of North Carolina. And it is about... A thief that, you know, a lot of times thieves go petty and get caught for stupid shit. And it's just, it's a sad thing to do stupid shit for nothing. This guy, however... Better to do stupid shit for something. Yes, exactly. This guy... Crime doesn't pay. This guy thought he would go big. He broke into a construction yard, as the article I'm looking at right now said. And... Stole an excavator. Drove the excavator to a nearby ATM where he used the hook to claw the ATM out of the ground and dumped it into the back of, let's see, what kind of car was it? So the the escape vehicle wasn't the excavator. No, he used the excavator because <laughs> because like I had this picture in my mind of this guy driving this excavator down the road with his ATM attached to the I, back. I don't think that would yeah. be a very and quick it says escape. that um the last time the vehicle was seen, which it was a black crown Victoria. I don't know how the hell they got. How the fuck did they get away from anywhere? Because everyone's like, I mean, That's how, how did you get away from a. How does a Crown Victoria with a ATM sitting on the roof of it get away from anything? But it says the last time the vehicle was seen was heading down Martin Luther King Boulevard. And all it says after that is the thief is described as a white man, possibly short in stature. Yeah, so... And according to this article, they have not called him today. If you know anything else about this story and they have called him, leave a link in the description. Or if you have any information on this crime, uh, call your local police station. Yes, Crime Stoppers does have a reward. And let us know because we'll think it's funny. Yes, because I want to hear more about this. Like, I I, I don't know. I'm I'm a little disappointed, but like. We know why he needs to steal the money now, because he drives a Crown Victoria and he has enough gas now to maybe make it 15 miles. Yes, exactly. With that whole ATM. Because it's like, Crown Victoria's like, om nom nom, om nom nom gas, om nom nom. Seriously. I just want to say how awesome it would be to see a car going down the road with an ATM strapped to it. I don't think, like, like at, at that point, like, what else is there to see? Yeah, like, after you've seen that, you might as well just, you know, call it a night, because there's nothing else there's you can see. There's nothing else you can see that will, will compare to that. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think. Oh, we did, we did see 
it's, it's a side note, but we saw a truck with a dinosaur on the back of it. Um, While we, after we were leaving, we were leaving the, zoo. the zoo. And they were hauling one of the animatronic dinosaurs somewhere. That was really cool to see on the back. No, it's kind of creepy. You look over on your driver's <laughs> side you can, like, and there's you a velociraptor. See, you can see why they're doing that. There is no oh, reason. they weren't stealing the dinosaurs. Yeah, I know. There's no reason. That would be awesome if somebody an drive ATM. to the zoo, would... lasso the T-Rex and drag its ass because, out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or better, like a giraffe. Something that's living. Come here! Come here! I don't want to go! Asphyxiating the poor thing down the highway. I'm going to name you Raffy. Raffy. Oh. <laughs> we'll name it Smear Mark after being Ew, the road. Oh, no. That's all that's left. Oh, <laughs> poor guy. Oh, it's oh. horrible. You're horrible. You're bad. You're a bad person. Me? Yeah. Jonathan said it. You're the one that wanted him to do it. Uh, no, one of you, you sick bad. No, 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 she's brown, don't listen to her, she lies. I didn't have anything <laughs> to do with any of this. Uh, don't tell me you wouldn't want that giraffe. You want to adopt everything. Oh, I want every animal as a pet. <laughs> I would like to See, this is what would happen. Like, okay, hypothetically, I went to the zoo and I stole a giraffe. And I called Nerodia and be like, hey, I just stole a giraffe and police are chasing me. She, she'd be like... Well, are you sure there's no way to take it? I'm sure there's no way you can take that back. Just come here. And uh, we'll set up a kennel. Yeah, I probably would take it for a walk around the neighborhood. Oh, God. That's great. (laughs) Your giraffe is eating my leaves. (laughs) Oh, God, our old neighborhood. Oh, God. (laughs) They Uh, have 500 giraffes. Oh, God. Doing cocaine off of others. Oh, God. Beating my car. Okay. We can't even go into that. There's not no, this will be a that. this will be a story for another podcast. Uh, Freeman, post a picture of a giraffe doing cocaine. Woo! That's a big uh, old line. That's a big old line. Um, <laughs> any last thoughts, guys? Any last thoughts for Um, I think we're good. We covered my reckless endangerment of awesomeness story. But uh, we got cool things going on. We'll have some pretty cool pictures. Hopefully, some some. Some uh, plaques and everything coming up, and we'll uh, we'll be doing another podcast on Sunday night, which will be, of course, posted on Monday. And um, yep, I think that's about it. Sounds good. We will catch you. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. Since I brought it in, and we will catch y'all later from the diecast clicker.